Go yo yo yo! What up though? Rainwater, we back, man. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Uh huh. I might can still give you the king of it. I mean, even though the women kind of did their thing on my channel, Mama Duck and them turned me up. Yeah, but they I, don't count in Dallas, Texas. I was, I'm still the king of this channel. We gotta add up all the views and see what they talking about. No, for sure, man. You know what I'm saying? So you know, Dallas, Texas. Uh, yeah, I run this channel. Now, we, you know we got to get right into it because, you know, you, your name coming up. People kind of questioning your integrity, questioning your, your managerial, your business skills. And I remember... Man, why they play with me every year? <laughs> every year at this time, they stay play with me. At the end of the year, they always give me my round of applause. That's how I do it. And then they got... I don't know why they keep questioning me. Now, <laughs> when we did the initial interview right after Mo3 had passed... Right. You said... It really wasn't time for more than you had about 18 months yeah. to get things going. I think right. that was the number you threw out. Now looking past this, pretty much 18 months, close to it, give close or take. It. Yeah. How do you feel like you've done on a scale of 1 to 10? How have you done managing HSM since the passing of Mo3? I got three people signed. Done, done, seven, Bobby. Hmm. Two songs with platinum. I emailed and this person, this person, this person, this person for six months straight, and Obama posted a song. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Got another person from uh, across uh, across the world, put him on Dallas platforms. He's doing a hundred streams, hundred thousand streams a week. I ain't the goat. No, that's hard. <laughs> so if you rank that, seeing all of that, would you give on a scale of one to ten? Why? What I give it eight, and, but I give it eight, but ain't nobody around here did that. Mm. Why not like a six? A six? Yeah, why not a six? Because ain't nobody else got nobody. Well, damn, somebody else got three people, six figures. Mm. And change, last change, three people live. You know what I'm saying? And not to mention, Mo3 gone. And I'm still made sure he ran Dallas. This year in 2022, he still gonna run Dallas. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, 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 I give myself an eight. So I see recently, and I saw the live with you and Tune going, you know, going back and forth a little bit. Tune brought up the notion. You lost two artists in one week. Is this because Rainwater's good for the WWE publicity <laughs> stunt? So <laughs> yeah. we we kind of debate like, is this shit really real? Man, or nobody, it's not? Listen, I can't lose nothing. <laughs> ain't nobody gonna have paint me. <laughs> oh, <man>. <laughs> 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 I ain't get my lick back from him. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> it, it, elaborate that on that. What you mean by nobody going to have paint you? Yeah, what? nobody going to have paint me. You know, uh, they ain't nobody going to 15 Erica Banks me. Ain't nobody taking nothing from me. I ain't losing nothing, you know. Mm. Uh, I'm smart at the business. You know, I learned from 03. Before he died, you know what I'm saying? He made sure he told me, look me in my eyes and said, Ryan, the people ain't like me. So, you know, you got to have everything in order. And, you know, uh, you know, sometimes hard on my artists. You know, sometimes I want them to be, I seen the worst, so I prepare for the worst. Yeah. So every day I wake up, I try to better myself. I got to do an interview, if I, go, I got to go outside, if I got to go take pictures at the local movie theater tomorrow, I try to better myself. And when I go to sleep, I know I, I did good, good promotion for me and my organization. So, you know what I'm saying? I try to push my artists to do that. Like, sometimes I come out hard because I'm still grieving and, and I know the pain of, of calling someone and they ain't got... They don't wake up the next morning, or they or they kids don't see them for the next week or the next Christmas. So if you're around me, I'm gonna call you and push you. I'm gonna cuss at you. I'm gonna talk shit. Just try to put some fire in your ass. You know what I'm saying? And uh, and yeah, so uh, you know, uh, the worst thing, the the what I try to do is try to get people out the hood. Mm. You know what I'm saying? If you and me, and you have see, I was I was I was brought the last six years with a beast. That he tried, he outworked me sometimes, where I had to catch up and outwork him. So that's all I know. That's all I know how to work and try to get to the top. So when I go to sleep at night, sometimes for the last year, I ain't been really be able to sleep. You know what I'm saying? At all. You know what I'm saying? All I think about Mo3 and Ro Lee. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, so whoever around me gonna do it for them. And we ain't we gonna be on, we ain't coming second to nobody. So I remember the very first interview you and I did, we talked about paperwork. And at that time, you didn't believe in paperwork. Yeah. Was that really just something between you and Mo3? And now has that I since thought, changed? I thought that's how the game go. Gotcha. That, you know, I learned me and Mo3 had a, a brotherly friendship, business relationship. 
uh, I learned that a lot of niggas won't, won't, might not, you, you, I probably never find another Mo3. You know, because everybody calling my phone, only calling my phone for what I can do for them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He never called my phone for what I can do for him. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, at the end of the day, um, yeah, he looked me in my eye and told me that, though. You know what I'm saying? I don't know why he did it, but, you know, uh, he he pulled out the contracts first. Told me, Ryan, I ain't finna do all this for nothing. Just cause anything happened, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So, you know, I, I follow that lead, you know, uh, you know, uh some people some people have a misunderstanding, but I'm standing on mines. Yeah. You gotta work. Ain't nobody, you know what I'm saying? You uh, uh, a gangster rapper, only thing's good for them in this music industry is the you get killed or you go to jail. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to make my artists get out of here. Gotcha. We're gonna work every week. I fly to another state. I'm trying to take over the world. I already took over Dallas. <laughs> okay. You know what I'm saying? So let's talk about your artists, right? Because we, right. we, we're we seeing a fallout, whether it's, you know, everybody you used to fall out with, you know what I'm saying, with quotation marks. Like, we don't know if this is real or not because we've known uh-huh. the antics from Rainwater at times. Right. So let's talk about starting with Don Don. Like, with the fallout, with, what, what is the true issue? With Don Don, like, what are the pros and the cons of him uh, as an artist? Don Don is the most talented artist Dallas have seen outside of outside of Mo Three. Don Don don't know how to be an entertainer. Hmm. He ain't he ain't he ain't mastered that yet. But you take him to a show, he go dance his ass out. I remember the first time me and Mo Three took Don Don to a show, he got up there just dancing. You know what I'm saying? We looked at each other, three smiled at me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he smiled at me like you know what I'm saying. So. And I always rooted for Dun Dun. I always told three men, go get Dun Dun out of jail. Go get it. Go change your life. You know what I'm saying? And so, you know, uh, you know, uh, Dun Dun, I, I always rooted for him. I yeah. see the potential in him, but I'm trying to build him up where he understands you don't have to be a gangster all the time. 100% gangster all the time. You know, you can smile and make jokes. 3D a comedian, because he was a comedian. He was a rapper. He was an R&B singer. You know, uh, I'm trying to build the mo today. I know it's not gonna be another mo three, but you could just see the 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 good things he did and take in a little bit. Of, yeah, you know what I'm saying. I'm learning. I learned from. Him. Can we can we put on an empathy hat and try to see things from Don Don perspective? What do you feel like Don Don feel like he's lacking or he's missing from you that he's hoping to get? See it from his perspective. Oh, nothing. It's just the way I talk when I'm mad. Hmm. I got him signed. I got him signed with no. He ain't never dropped a mixtape. Uh, uh, okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Straight up. But even though him never dropping and he signed, we know that Don Don on house arrest. Yeah, he can't yeah. really do much. No, no, no. That's a blessing. Because hmm. the streets don't see him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now nah, don't worry yourself out. That's a blessing. You signed for three deals in the house and you in there for six days out of the week. You can you can actually write three albums, yeah, and turn in all three of them. Well, what about that? You know, that saying "out of sight, out of mind." Like, yeah, he it's kind of good that it's controlled on the access to him. Mo three best music came when he was stuck in the house. Mm. People best music and the best way of thinking when they in the pen they locked down. So I don't have to wake up in the morning and and and, and make sure. Nothing happened to Don Don. Gotcha. So, like, if you were coaching Don Don right now and you know the situation, I always tell people if you if you bring up a complaint, you thought of the solution. Right. For Don Don right now, what would be the solution for him? Um, be an entertainer, speak more, talk more. You know, make people want to follow your your uh, your livelihood, what you got going on. You if you got to if you got to you got to get in the room and put on four different outfits a day and take pictures flying as hell. You know what I'm saying? When they, when people know your picture come over, that little nigga be fly. Yeah. Or make trillers, you know what I'm saying? Gotcha. Work, you know what I'm saying? Like, like it ain't, it's uh, um, shit on the phone, you just sit there and connect with other artists. Hmm. Outside of Dallas, I'm trying to get them out of Dallas. Are you hoping, are you, do you feel like you kind of fell in trying to make them the new Mo3? Because want, Mo3. I don't want another Mo3. Because Mo3 had a guy given talent of actually yeah. just entertaining yeah, the camera. Yeah, I don't want another Mo3. Mo3 was a gangster. Gotcha. 100%. Mm. And so I don't want, a, I don't want a, another Mo3. Mo3, Mo3, 
Mo3 one of a kind. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So, now I'm not trying to make them Mo3. I just want to make them they work at the is 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 a Mo3. Got gotcha. you. Now num- number 7. Honestly, I'm, maybe this may be an unpopular belief, but out of Don Don and number 7, number 7 is probably my favorite artist. I'm I never been a real auto tuny singing pain type thing. I like the rap, rap that aggressive shit. That's just kind of. I changed, I changed his whole album up. You gonna listen to it? You, you switch it up? Yeah, none of that, none of that drill. But you made a statement like seeing you in seven kind of fall out again. I'm saying fall out with quotations because uh-huh. part of me feel like, bro, this is smoke and mirrors. This is now nah, look. Uh, one thing I know when I go to sleep. You know, I talk to I, t- I talk to people crazy when I'm mad, and they talk to me when they crazy when they mad. But you know, uh, I know there ain't no pushovers. Mm. You know, uh, a couple of years ago, uh, I called Mo Three, and Mo Three said I can't sit in my car after he made four diamonds. I looked at him and I said, "That's some bullshit you just made, nigga. You ain't even had a little run. Ever little run had to throw that ass in a circle." Three just looked at him like that. I said, nah, for real, nobody listen to that shit. Ain't nobody wanna, bro, ain't nobody wanna hear no saying I mean, no, no, no happy jolly Mo3. Cause he had too much money. Yeah. He was just going in there freestyling and leaving the studio and thought he was a man. I said, bro, that shit suck. He looked at that, and when I say he suck, he know what I'm saying it ain't completely trash, but the level that I know he could be on, it sucks. Gotcha. He said, okay. He went back to the studio and made everybody into a friend. Mm. And that's when the pain came out. That was before Roy Lee died. That was before, that's when that's when the pain went through came out. Yeah. And he understood what I was saying. So sometimes when when they look the young niggas, I gotta tell them the real raw shit. So they can prepare how they react on it. Cause they might hear it from somebody else in the streets or a cameraman or a vlogger. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you know, I try to prepare for them. So they'll understand, because if I didn't care, I wouldn't say nothing new to you. I just collect the chicks, they're gonna come my way. So, although y'all got paperwork together, mm-hmm. is this just a, because I mean, I, we, we seen you throw some jabs at, you know what I'm saying, number seven, that like he's scared to go to South by Southwest. Why, why are people say that to number seven? Why couldn't it be somebody else? The internet said it was number seven. So I, you never said a name? I never said a name. <laughs> See how the bloggers do you? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> that people just sit there and say, say I was talking to seven. So who you was talking to then? <laughs> I was just talking to all these niggas out here doing these drill music. Think about how many rappers not going to South by Southwest. Yeah. <laughs> Think about how many rappers scared to go to South by Southwest because they scared to go talk, they go see the nigga they've been rapping about. So that wasn't about number seven? <laughs> no. Okay. Okay. So, but number seven saying... He made a post uh-huh. saying you no longer represent him. Yeah. To that, I'm paraphrasing. Right. Where do y'all stand right now? Like, what's the fallout? You, you said with Don Don, you talked to him kind of crazy, but this is you trying to light a fire up under him to work yeah. harder. Yeah. What no, was the both of them, no. Hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like even seven, I look at seven, I'd be more mad at seven because you, you not on house arrest. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Nigga, you, you, nigga, you, you, right now, right now in Dallas, you seven walk about around the people, people go take pictures and, and some people scared, don't know, even want to look his way. Some people, you know what I'm saying, don't know what they talk. Nigga, you, nigga, you, they got everything in the palm of y'all hands because of Mo3. My partner yeah. laid down and, and to rest and bless y'all game. Work, nigga. That's all I'm saying. Gotcha. Nigga, you, nigga, 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 it's right there in front of y'all face. So, you know, sometimes, you know, you know I be so so hard because at night I can't sleep. You know, you know what I'm saying? At night I can't sleep. I bro, to this day I roll by myself mm. everywhere. Cause they, you know what I'm saying? Last six years I rolled my three. We flew everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I trusted him with my life. He trusted me with his life. All right. So, what about Pink Princess? Pressure. And I remember you used pushing Pressure. her. Pink pressure. Pressure. Oh, yeah. pink, pink princess. XO. Yeah. She passed away. Yeah. That's my bad. Pink pressure. Yeah. XO, my nigga. Yeah, man. Rest in peace. She's an Alloy Down video. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah. Pink pressure. Where do y'all stand now? Because, you know, 
congrats on her having a baby. She's trying to resurge with the music and stuff, but it looked like that discontinued. But then now it looked like you kind of supporting her a little bit more again. Yeah, I was letting Pink get a... Uh, I was letting Pink get a... Uh, her, uh, her baby and everything together. Yeah. You know, uh, I support her. You know, I don't, I don't know. You know, I support her 100% Pink go hard. You know, but uh, Pink had a beautiful baby. Yeah. And, uh, you know, so. So is she officially still signed under you or is just. Yeah, she's still signed to my management. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. So let's break down HSM because the business thing, people want to know, man, like, what is your role in HSM versus I'm the, the family? I'm right with the manager. Me and my mom was super cool. Okay. Like, I'm just, you know what I'm saying? So it's the mom more the CEO of H- uh-uh, HSM? It's, yeah, it's just, HSM is a company and it's a mom a mom was held everything down. Got you. three decisions. Got you. Right. So any decisions, albums, et cetera, that goes through the mom and you just mm-hmm. still play your role as the manager to work? I'm three, yeah. Got you. Right. What, how is your relationship working wise? Because people feel like it may not be as cordial as it seems what, to be what, between what, you uh, and Mo Three Mom. Yeah, I, I think I at least still come around. That people think Rainwater got a problem. Like the family is holding back, and that no, the family don't rock with Rainwater. There's no, issues. No, that's crazy. How y'all think there wouldn't be no albums coming out of nothing? <laughs> I mean, it would make sense if the mom, if she got control of the album, it makes sense Man, for her to put it out, that, right? Let me say like this. No song was completely is completely done. I put everything together. You know, it was missing verses here, missing verses there. Got caught here, got caught here. Got find out who made this beat. Got get this beat remade because I don't know what three got it from. Oh no, nah, this ain't no this ain't no cakewalk. Gotcha. Now I'm buying verses back right now. If you got a Mo three verse that nobody ever used, then I'm trying to buy it back right now. So when it comes to Mo three family, is Rainwater cool and everything good with him and? The family. Yeah, yeah, me, me and Mr. Cole are at one. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, she support me. She, she, uh, she support me, like, you know what I'm saying? Gotcha. I be, I, I hate when I get on her in them interviews, get the cussing and stuff like that. <laughs> but, you know, I'm passionate over lying. Nah, she, she sit there and tell me, man, you're doing a good job. Keep my son's name alive. Yeah. That's how I keep my son's name alive where I go. Is Rainwater messy? Uh, nah. Mm, I don't consider that. What are you then? What would you consider yourself then? Uh, I'm the best manager Dallas ever seen. Mm. So in order to be the best manager that Dallas ever seen, do you have to get your hands dirty? Yeah, you got to. I'm so you got to be messy sometimes? Uh, not messy. Like, what, what was the messy situation? You, you good at throwing slugs, bro. At what? You, at anything. <laughs> no, 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 no. I just clap back. You clap back. So, you know, like three used to, people used to be like, Man, he just doing too much. He was making all these diss songs, but he only spoke about retaliation after stuff was done to him. Yeah. But when he said it, you know he was for real. So anything I say, people hate it because you know it's for real. What about what people say, in order for Rainwater to promote anything, he always had to bring up a problem with somebody else in order to tie it in to promotion? Like what? Like, for example... uh, like you do just early in the interview, you threw a slug at half pint. You got yours in. You know what I'm saying? You you kind of do that. That's your. You ain't see what he did to me. Well, did I, I didn't see what he did. Yeah, doing. exactly. What he doing? On one interview, you know, rainwater good. That might like, oh, okay. Yeah, okay. You know, God, see what have rain. What have rainwater done? That's what he mm. said. Yeah, yeah. Ain't nobody been half pint me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Y'all sit back and, and watch that bitch hit my phone say ching ching. So what you're saying is you're not starting it, but you finish it. I, yeah, I just finish it. Bro, I never clap at nobody that, that, that don't disrespect me or Mo3 or anything around me. You know a lot of people gonna call that bullshit though. Why? I got I got I got the uh, what you call it? I never do. I never do. I, I do not clap at nobody that don't clap at me. Got you. Um recently um uh, Mo3 baby mother came out. Mm-hmm. Um, saying that you're not looking out for the kids. I'm kids, yeah. Um, you know what I'm saying? Essentially, no birthdays, no nothing. If Mo3 was your partner, you not looking out for the kids like he's your partner, that you're absent. Uh-huh. How would you respond to that? Them kids richer than most grown men. Mm. Because they got trust fund, you can't touch the money. Yeah. They ain't got nothing to do with me. Miss Nicole rich over there. Mm. You know what I'm saying? She she handled her business. You know what I'm saying? Before he died. Mm. You know what I'm saying? She don't hurt for no money. Yeah. 
You know what I'm saying? And so I ain't got nothing to do with no baby mamas. I wasn't talking to no baby mama when Mo3 was alive. Hmm. So whatever, whatever I do, whatever going on, I ain't got nothing to her business. Hmm. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, when Mo3 died, Mo3 was in a hole with the label. In one year, them, I, them kids gonna be millionaires. Hmm. So why do you think if they're already financially secure, are you thinking the baby mother is solely just reaching out saying this thing because she don't have access to the trust fund? Is what you said? Oh uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. I guess my question would be this for you then. But look, let me talk. If we talk about you know uh, one kid that I feel bad for, and I, and I I really need to do more for it, Royal Lee kids. Everybody keep forgetting about Royal Lee kids. Hmm. Royal Lee don't have no music out. That's a big picture. For Christmas, I sit there and try to buy them shoes. Uh, you know, uh, and that's the situation I could do more for. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But everybody keep forgetting about Royal Lee kids. So let's, let's define yeah. this. Like yeah. a person who partner passes away, us as the surviving homie that's still around, what are we supposed to do? Are we supposed to literally step in and become the father because the partner is gone? Like what, in your eyes, what role should, should a person play when they homie pass away with uh, their partner kids? I'm not sure, but you just know that they, they make sure they're in position to be set. You understand what I'm saying? Cause yeah. Everybody live they, everybody got their uh, live their own lives. Yeah. But as a, a, a partner, a real individual that's still still here, don't let them suffer. Mm-hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, both my I, I, my both my partners that die. Uh, had a strong family, strong backbones. Hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you know, uh, Mo three kids good. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? Mo three mama good. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't you know. Gotcha. Okay. So recently, man, we 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 been seeing you everywhere. Mm-hmm. For you always traveled everywhere, but even more so with Charleston White. Mm-hmm. I seen you on the set. You was there when you did Big Facts and 85 South Show, right? Mm-hmm. Like behind the scenes doing your thing. Like, man, what's your relationship with Charleston, man? And uh, are you managing them? Nah, I don't manage them. Mm. Nah, hell nah. Uh, Charleston, uh, Charleston powerful, powerful, powerful speaker. Absolutely. I like how Charleston uses words and the message that Charleston give out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I go everywhere with Charleston. Yeah. Anywhere he go, I go to it because I just learn to pick up, um, pick up different game he got. Yeah, and he opened doors for me. You know what I'm saying? He got me on the phone, Miss Deborah Waka Flocka Mama, having a conversation with her. Yeah, that's who taught me the game. That's who I looked up to. How how did you and Charleston end up linking? Because I mean, of course, Charleston been around. I did an interview. Okay, he got me on his podcast. Okay, the game related, not uh-huh. game related. And he looked at me after we spoke to each other. People thought we was gonna argue. Hmm. Nah, I, I fuck with Charleston. No, for sure. Now, we know recently Charleston went at Say Cheese. Mm-hmm. He also went at Vlad. He said he would never do a Say Cheese interview again. Mm-hmm. How do you feel about that as far as his relationship with Sean and Say Cheese? Charleston right now is too real and not, not he don't understand the game. Hmm. Not just the, because... A lot of these people, they do their job. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. And I understand where Charles come from. Like, you know what I'm saying? He take it personally. Like, but a lot of people just do their job. So, you know, uh, I learned that a long time ago. For sure. You know, I learned that a long time ago. So, you know, I can't, uh, I hate it for him. I hate it for both of them. I try to call both of them. I try to call Sean. And I know how Sean is. Yeah, for sure. Sean stopped answering the phone for a month. <laughs> I think everybody who knows Sean has been through that. Sean stopped phone for a month. You know, uh, straight up, I, I, you know, I know how Sean is. And I've I never been in Sean's shoes, so yeah. I can't, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I can't, uh, I can't, I can't, I can't speak on it. Being around Charleston and we're seeing the elevation, we're seeing the growth, we see him elevating from bigger platform to bigger platform. What do you see the end goal for him? Like the 
the final, how big do you think could you see Charleston being? Uh, I think Charleston going to be huge. Charleston going to be huge. Because the message he bringing out. Yeah. People, how it was at first talking about, uh, he going to jail. I mean, I, if people say he's a snitch. Yeah. Then Charleston starts saying, I don't, I don't tell them people. I tell them killers. I tell, I, 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 I tell gang bangers. They all need to go to jail. They hurting our community. Mm. And he right. Yeah. <laughs> he he speaks it, some real yeah, shit. Yeah, for sure. Then they start talking about the shit he say. He told, he said I, I basically say the same thing the rappers say. Mm. And why y'all hate me? The rappers just say the same thing. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I fuck with Charleston. I know lately, like um, Clubhouse, Whack 100, mm-hmm. kind of been going crazy on Clubhouse, and it's that whole resurgence of that. Mm-hmm. And from a manager, you know he known as OG Power Rule, mm-hmm. and he's working with Takashi 69 As a manager yourself, mm-hmm. could you work with anybody that was a known, that's quote-unquote rat, somebody that went against the grain? Could you sign and work under a management with somebody like Takashi? Yeah, because the whole rap game fake. Mm. You got niggas that drip, make drill music and they never drill nothing. And people look up to it. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. the whole rap game fake. Like, the, 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 the gangsters in the rap game, the real niggas in the game, that rap game don't make it. It's only like two, it's like three, I mean, it's like, it's, in my book right now, Yeah, it's only three gangsters in the rap game right now. Mm. Who is that? And they, they all shadow band. Except one of them, the baby. I give it to the baby. The baby done um, defeat all obstacles he ever went through. <laughs> Facts. And then he ain't never took an L. Young boy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And Boosie, Boosie created all the gangster shit in, 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 in the uh, industry. So why you didn't throw dirt in there? Uh, I got to give it to, I don't know much about what Dirk done did. Gotcha. I know these niggas gonna be murder charges, and you know what I'm saying. Yeah, I know. I know the baby whacked the nigga in Walmart. <laughs> you know Too sure, for sure, for sure. Yeah, you know I'm saying, but so I can't tell you what Dirk done did or how Dirk did it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I know Bun was a gangster. For but sure, you, you can't contain a gangster. You can't. People always say thought Bun, Bun, people set Bun up. Von seen his eye or op and jumped out the car and started stealing his ass. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It was just two gangsters ran into each other. And gangsters shit happened. Yep. Yeah. One nigga, one nigga go to jail, one nigga gone. That's some guy. It was a gangster. Mo three. Mo three would have kept going. I think he would have been alive. He jumped out the car and was ready to go to war. Yeah. My scary ass would have jumped out the car and ran. Ran the opposite way, but I ain't even looking for nothing. You know what I'm saying? No, for sure. So you know, you know, they three died. It was a gangster shit. So you know, uh, gangsters, you can't. Uh, it's like it's like what's his name? Uh, four hundred, Slim Four Hundred. Yep. It's like he was fighting back. <laughs> yeah, ain't it shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He was like he was fighting back. So speaking of like Slim Four Hundred, you think of. Um, Mo3 and then we just named Vaughn we know what they all had in common mm-hmm. Empire I don't think Slim Four Hundred Slim Empire uh-uh. okay cause people looking at Empire although I know Gazi never not have anything to do with it but yeah. the, the the type of artists they go with seem like the they look for I guess quote unquote real gangsters is that what they sign because Hell I've never no, seen not- a, I've never seen a label take so many major deaths towards artists well, well Empire got a lot of artists over there Empire got a lot of artists over there, and guys are the person to give people a chance. All guys did was, was all guys are doing is picking up people that that the the, the majors missing out on. Yeah, over, overlook. You know what I'm saying? Nah, hell nah. But I, I felt like I haven't seen no other record as that goes to more funerals, viewings, grave sites than Gazi. Yeah, cause guys got a lot of artists over there. You know, he uh, you know, a lot of a lot, you got, got a lot of artists over there. It's, I mean, you know. Uh, guys are real individuals. Yeah. You know, uh, 
when when three died, I called the guys that been begged him to sign Dun Dun and Seven. Mm. I had to get them get them some money because I thought they were sitting like some sitting ducks at their mama house. Yeah. So I begged them, you got to sign them, guys. You got to sign them. Come on, Ryan, I'll do it. You know what I'm saying? He did that for us. He said, I want to make sure y'all good. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Guys, guys are real individual. People want to know, did Rainwater get his money yet from the lawsuit? I ain't talking about that. You can't talk about it. Because I know some people is like, bro, we know this. You don't really say yellow name. You won't say it. So people like, hey, Rain ain't got his paper. He don't talk about it. Oh, I, ain't, I, ain't, I, ain't got, I ain't got nothing. Nothing? Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Why, why that, we'll get off of it, but why that topic do you leave it alone and not talk about it? See, it ain't nothing to talk about. Hmm. I, mean, I, was, I was heavily beaten. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I ain't gonna talk about it. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So like now, man, we, we here. Mm-hmm. People count, like you said, it's the beginning of the year, people counting you off. Rainwater falling off. <laughs> Rainwater <laughs> just doing whatever he can right now. He's just doing anything because he's drowning. Why they say right, doing whatever he can? On what? They, they just saying, bro, man, you look, just doing a bunch look, of shit. Look, I was the executive producer of Motor Album, right? I'm the only executive producer of an album and, and, a, and, and a manager that that these these platinum plaques, yeah, right? What well, is involved in it? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. This next Mo three album will go top three in the world. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm be working on. I I I, I, I sit there for the last year worked on Dun Dun album. Gonna be better than the all these niggas album. Sell my album. They're gonna be surprised. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? My new artist from from North Carolina, Baby C. I t- I brought down. I watched that. I watched Dallas artists sit there and say, "Fuck the blogs, fuck the DJs, mm-hmm. right?" So I brought him down here using Dallas platforms. That a, a, a Dallas dude shooting the video, the bloggers, everything. Shot a video. Dallas takes you to the ball behind it. Yeah. And I'm using Dallas platforms to show the other artists that Dallas shit's still good. He doing a hundred thousand a week, and then then a hundred thousand. That's more than that's more than that's more than that's more than half the city. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? With no label. So when did he drop the single? Because I didn't even see. Huh? When did he drop a, a video? To, to, uh, he dropped the video. It's shadow band now too. Uh, the video is shadow band on the audio right now is six seven hundred thousand. Why the video shadow band? Oh, uh, I, I probably put all that ass in the video. Uh, I just got I just got it I just got it took off. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, the yeah, prophecy took all that ass. Uh, I'm announcing his. <laughs> I'm announcing his deal. He he, he signed the deal, a, a huge little deal. Okay, you know what I'm saying. So, uh, you know, y'all still showing people that I'm. I'm uh, God bless me. I'm still a go. I still. I still. Uh, I pay my tithes. I I tell you this. I, I'm I'm glad he got a record. I want to check it out because I ain't gonna lie. I got tired of seeing that nigga beat on his chest. No, no, I, exactly. But what I'm doing. What I'm doing is showing people how to really promote. It's other ways to promote. You can do the street way. You can do you can do the the, the club way. I am doing it a free way mm. where every artist got to have the nuts to grind. Gotcha. You understand what I'm saying? This boy right here, you know, he told me on Christmas. He said, Ryan, I ain't got no money to buy my kids nothing. I said, for real? He said, but that's okay, though. I'm good. And I got to follow my other, both my other artists. They all got six figures over there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Diamonds in their mouth. You know what I'm saying? Everybody living good, but I couldn't sleep because I'm thinking about what he just told me. Like you, heard, you heard this boy just told me he said he ain't buy his kids nothing. He ain't buy his kids nothing. So that mean I, they, they put in my mind that he might not have enough have enough money right now. But every time I fly somewhere, he flying somewhere, spending his last singing. Yeah. We we in front of DC on fly. Get just get the get the singing, make everybody. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I bet they're 2 million, 2.4 million on my TikTok. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, 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 so I'm showing people right now. That song, uh, doing 100,000 a week. I just, uh, just put on Say Cheese, 200,000 in one day. I did more than some of them niggas that signed. So, so this way of doing it, people not understand. They said, I'm getting tired of that song. But once you start hearing that song in the clubs and the radio, you go sing that song because you got, you heard it so much. Yeah. 
So, so does Ray Water consider him a gatekeeper? Because a lot of people saying <laughs> gatekeepers don't exist. Yeah, 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 yeah gatekeepers. Yeah, I'm using them gatekeepers. You see, a lot of people I got them plastic gatekeepers. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, my, yeah, my, my, the people that I fuck with, oh yeah, they, they, they beating down those. That's why nobody right now, nobody right now getting views or, or doing, hearing no music unless it's associated with me in some type of way. Mm. You ain't seen nobody around here. They getting no views, getting none of that. Yeah, yeah, we got a lot of gatekeepers. You know what I'm saying? They, they, I, I was giving plastic out to people in the barber shops because every time they go in there, they playing that music. Yeah, you know that you gonna hear that you gonna hear you gonna hear some of my music in that barber shop. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, hell yeah, there's a lot of gatekeepers out right here. Yeah, a lot of them, a lot of them. Do you look at yourself? And I know I normally don't name drop, do but when it come to management and everything you do, do you feel like you in competition with trap now? Nah, yeah, nah, hell yeah, nah, they some rappers. I, I, I'm signing rappers. Because hmm. <laughs> I mean, I, I guess I look at trap as a gatekeeper though. Like he he step out, he got his own business. He reaching out, signing artists. Just signed an artist in Memphis, I believe. A chick out of Memphis. She they doing numbers. They signed to a major. I, they, get I don't know. they get distribution deals. What kind of shows they doing? <laughs> I mean, shit. I don't know. I mean, I've got. I, I mean, that's a big difference. Gotcha. Come around right here, all them artists getting six figures like that. You like that. Saying? Changing lives. Gotcha. I don't waste no time. So when we get to the last quarter of the year, will everybody be applauding? I knew Rainwater was going to be the man because everybody counting you out right now. Rainwater scrambling. He just yeah, yeah, signing yeah. random ass artists from all over the country <laughs> to just man. try to get on somewhere. Nah, nah. Well, how is that? They, they, That's they, what people, they man. down down ain't hitting on that. Number seven yeah, ain't got yeah. the music. Everything falling Number apart. Number seven ain't got the that, music. That's what people say. Man, y'all is sick. Man, y'all think I'm going to sit there and wait my time? Man, come on, shape up. Niggas, niggas, it's about it's time. You now I pay my tithes. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay. Nah, for real. See, what they didn't say is Rainwater and them gave out 50 to 100 plats to, to random people. They never got no plats in Dallas, Texas. Them other niggas don't went, them, them other niggas went platinum ago. They didn't give out no plats. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The other nigga faces on there with three. He went. He, he got the same amount of plats and go uh, plats that we got, and never passed them out to the regular people in the city. Why did the city didn't say that? They probably be mad at this city. Why the city ain't say that? The mother nigga went platinum and gold three, four years ago, and I'm handing out plastic DJ. They said, man, it's my first one. Yeah. No, nah, they don't speak about that. <laughs> okay. They don't speak about, man, they don't speak about rainwater sit there and, 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 and got three, three people signed in one year. Who else did that? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Rainwater let these let the, let the Rainwater and them had these bloggers and made these, some of these bloggers that was nobody to something. You know what I'm saying? So so now, yeah, you know, uh, comedians, you know, nigga, nigga, comedians, everything, everything, uh, 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 uh video prophecy, nigga, nigga, prophecy, prophecy sat there and shot them videos for free for us. Soon so we got, a, I got a chance. I gave him some money. To, to, a prophecy, prophecy went over there and bought a building. Now he got the he got damn the number one uh, studio that you go shoot videos in Dallas. Yeah, that shit hard. Yeah, shit hard. How the hell y'all count me out? I look out for them people. Nigga, Rob Stovall, Broken Love, producer, sign. Yeah, I brought, I try to put on for the everybody around. Everybody around me, I try to put on. So on the gatekeeper list, what number do Rainwater fall? Three. Three. So who is it? One, two, three. The the Prince family. Cause they down there in Houston is another beast. I've been to Houston trying to take over. Yeah. I've been trying to get my feet wet in Houston. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So the Prince family. The Prince family. You know, say cheese. Then me. Rainwater. Okay. <laughs> okay, Rainwater. <laughs> Gatekeeper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just piped up. Yeah, 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 yeah. You got it got it gotta be that uh yeah, I uh I changed more I changed more lives than anybody around here. Even nigga I I, I made I made the YouTube blog was hot. Uh, hot. Mm. Now that's for sure. You brought a lot of people to life. Yeah. Shout out to my guy Sco. But your interview, yeah. he that monetized them in the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so you know, this, yeah, so you know, nah, y'all got, y'all got, got to understand it. But I understand them. Like I understand that everything can be taken from me. Yeah. You know, just like a matter of a day, can they go back to rainwater? Oh, rainwater, they ain't doing this. They doing me like they did Mo 3. Why we got to be the black sheep around here? The fell off list. Yeah, why we got to be the black sheep around here? Because y'all talk so much shit. 
They talk shit. They don't talk shit. Bobby went on there and said that, 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 that Mo 3 wasn't hot before he died, and y'all allowed him say that shit. Bro, you be provoking Bobby. No, I do not. I watched him do Bro, it. Bro, you poked Bobby into a corner where that man felt like his ego kicked man, in. They, he had no they choice poke, but to they, say some shit they back. Poke, they, poke, they, 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 they poke me in the corner every time. Everybody around me, Selma ain't got a good song. Man, y'all serious. Selma still doing, Selma done done doing more numbers than anybody in this, in this city. Mm. They not? I, yeah, you I ain't check, seen it. You I got to check, check the stats, check, bro. Check I, the num- I can check the numbers for you because you got to check the numbers. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So now, so no. People, people, see, they doing me like the DMO3. People always say, y'all talk the most shit. But what we're having people start talking shit up. Hmm. They allow it. It's, it's normal. It's normal for us to rule them out. Man, it's normal for us to talk all negative shit about them. Nah, we, I don't, we, we don't, uh, I, don't I, I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't. I don't try to turn nobody's character down. Yeah. I just clap back and smile. <laughs> you ain't never seen me mad not smiling. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I was laying in the middle of the street. You know what I'm saying? After I was do, doing wrong. Yeah. I stood up and I laid down and smile. <laughs> I, I want to end on this, but this come up a lot about rainwater. Do rainwater do cocaine? Hell nah, they gonna blame everything. They gonna say everything. They gonna say everything, man. Shut the fuck up, y'all. Nah, yeah, so you ain't never touched booger sugar. <laughs> uh, man, look, if somebody, if somebody would have had somebody that somebody would sit there and say, I, I did a bag of cocaine with him. I sold him a bag of cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> somebody from somewhere would say that shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It always gotta be something, man. They always gonna sit there and, and, and and say something, man. Dallas crazy, man. It's, it's wild. Dallas crazy. I'm saying like this. Dallas so crazy that y'all gonna appreciate shit when it's gone. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? All the orders that's coming up right now, y'all just come on. Do we, I promise we end on this, but are you, are y'all like you trap? Um, yellow, all of y'all, are y'all the problem? Is it time for y'all to move out the way and let some new come? I'm not no rapper. It's time for them to move out the way. This is a new generation. Hmm. You know, I'm not no rapper. So it's a new generation. So that's why I'm, I'm trying to bring up the, 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 the generation. The, that generation with Mo3 is gone. They're not making no more noise. The CJC knows, the, the, the trap, the yellows, the, 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 the owl at the whole generation. Hmm. You don't hear it no more. It's a new generation came through here. You know what I'm saying? Gotcha. So, 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 yeah, that generation is done with. It. Is it? That's almost. That's like. That's like almost like the boogie era. Gotcha. The DSO era. It, 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 the Tom Tom the Tuck the Chiefs. You know what I'm saying? So they legacy acts now. They legacy, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you know, you know. Uh, you know, just stay tuned. All right. Well, hey, Rainwater, man, I appreciate you sitting down with me, bro. I think we got another class. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stay tuned. Hey, man, till we meet again. All right. Peace.